Yeah, I mean, pretty gorgeous, so y'all yeah, know. Yeah. AKA Pretty Tone. You know what I mean? We do what we gotta do. We over here on the block. Got Big D with us. We waiting on K Slate come down. We doing the video shoot. You don't say I didn't warn you, man. It's the big takeover. I get all the gangsters to come out. You know what I mean? I get all the gangsters to come out. I get pretty gorgeous to come out. I get them all to come out. All right? Okay. Sleeper Radio, DJ K Slate, John the King of the Building. And we got Unique in the Building from Mecca Audio. So, real brief. Um, why did you go away? I went away because uh, I had a kingpin charge, you know, a uh, money laundering charge, you know. I had a couple of clubs was doing me, was getting a lot of money and, you know, buying a lot of cars and doing what we did back in that era, you know what I mean? Spending money, living life, popping bottles. I mean, you know, we coined majority of that, you know what I mean? Like, like when I was up in Club 2000, back then, they wasn't even drinking Hennessy. You know what I mean, in the hood. You know what I mean? I went and got Hennessy and Cristal and all that and put it up there in Club 2000. That's how I introduced them to that. Then when I went down to Miami, uh, they was into Cisco. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I used to bring the Cisco, Cisco up, which was, was the, yeah, which was called like the liquid dust. Liquid dust. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so I yep. brought that up, started selling that at the bar. You know what I mean? And then, you know, uh, what's that other one we had back then? Uh, uh, the St. Eyes. You know what I oh, yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. so I, I even sold St. Eyes at the bar. I mean, Mo went for $100, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, you know, we did what we did. But like I said, they didn't even know what Henny was back then. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they, you know, everybody got on it, you know what I mean? And we did what we did, had a good time, and it was all love up there, man. That's Club 2000 all day. They know when you need to come around, it's all peace. I, I unite people, not separate them. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? I bring love and peace. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know when they come to Club 2000 and make audio, leave your beats from the block on the block. But yeah, I was locked up for being a kingpin, you know, 255 keys in uh, Virginia is what I got sentenced to, you know what I mean? And since I've been in, uh, rehabilitated myself and I took a couple of uh, psychology programs, mentoring programs, suicide prevention, and I got into mentoring the youth in a program called... Uh, the, the skills program where I helped a number of brothers get out. I'm gonna have them on my show over at Unique Make Audio uh, uh, TV at YouTube. You know, where I'm gonna interview some of the brothers that I help mentor so they can tell you all about my program and how I got them out so you'll understand why I'm out with all of this, you know, drugs and money that I made that I wasn't supposed to get. Out. You know what I mean? But I rehabilitated myself and it took me 20 something years of straight, you know, going to school programming, couldn't read or write when I got locked up. You know how they just know how to count, you know what I mean? You know, and, and I learned to read a, a, a triple beam scale before I learned my ABCs. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, that's the era yeah, I come from. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, where, you know, school wasn't pushed upon us. You know what I mean? You need to go out there and do something to make two dollars. You need to just roll up big bamboo joints and sell them on Tremont over on University. Yeah. You know what I mean? On the concourse, I was big. Shane four five Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slate, Drama King is in the building. Hmm. Unique is in the building. Mecca right. Audio is in the building. You already so, know. um, where did you get the name Mecca Audio? Where that stem? Uh, you know, I created that name because when I opened up the uh, the uh, record shop and studio, you know, and give uh, Star Child some place to go and the other DJs to have somewhere to go, I knew that I knew it was gonna be something different as far as. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 what I'm doing, with it, I was bringing a whole type of new music, man. So this was going to be the mecca for the music. You know what I'm saying? I was going back and forth in the South, you know, while I'm doing my thing down there with Luke and all that. You know, uh, Pac Jam, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Big Daddies, Jumbos, you know, the whole nine, you know what I mean? So I brought that style of music back to New York. And then I brought the women from down there that was dancing in the strip clubs to show, you know, the, 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 the brothers and sisters in uh, New York how they partied down in the south and we mixed that with our new york djs and uh the miami djs i was bringing up and that's how we came up with our make audio channel you know certain other things and you know did what we did. Hey, yo. universal Set. Welcome to Mecca Audio Entertainment. For exclusive interviews, merch, artist features, media, and much more, visit us at MeccaAudioEntertainment.com. The exclusive book, A Roar in Harlem, based on true events by Waynesworth Unique Hall, edited by Cavario H, is available now at www.AuroraInHarlem.com. Unique, let them know what time it is. Hey, yo. Uh, <laughs> 
In this exclusive, you'll be checking out Unique and our beloved brother, DJ K Slate, chopping it up and vibing in the home of hip hop, New York City. Much love and more strength to K Slate. Hey, oh. Positivity and power to him. Let's let's go, go. After all these years, I've been sitting on the inside, reading uh, straight stunting, looking at all the beautiful girls, yeah. looking at my homie representing. Yeah. I mean, nothing but flavors. And, and, and man, but hold up, this for you, man. I gotta let it be back. Classic, yo. Classic, man. I'm ready to go home and change now. Yeah, you know I man. This is only for the, for the big homies, yeah. man. Just so you know, this is what we do. You know Classic. what I mean? What's the name of that joint? 50 deep? Roll the 50 deep, Roll man. 50 deep. Roll the 50 deep, then we got rolling the 100 deep. Yeah, PT. Come on. Hey, yo. Hey, no, but for y'all and I, really, is something. I got in touch with him. That was like 2000, 2007. You know what I mean? Yeah, come on, as soon as I reached out to him and hit me with the, I ain't even know nothing about straight stuff. They got me way out in California. Mm-hmm. I don't know nothing about none of this. I'm so yeah. glad that tell you. When you sent that joint, some man, that was uh, blessing. It was over. You know what I mean? It was over. I know. You know what I mean? Seen that there. Yeah. Oh, come on, son. All the California dudes, they wanted to see it. I started whipping out the pages and selling them for $10. Exactly. I was selling the pages out of straight stuff for $10. Yeah, that is not that motherfucker where it was so thick. If you got me yeah. something. Yeah, the was cuffing, but yeah, nigga couldn't even stick it. Yo, I told certain people, a lot of people ain't know. That, that shit was like 250 pages. Yeah. Glossy, this Level thing. three vets. You know what I mean? That's so a level three uh, vets, like you said. I just put that straight stunt on. Yeah, yeah. Huh? I just put that straight stunt on. I said, yeah. ain't no shit going through that. He was like, man, for real. You can't